Officials are calling it an all-hands-on-deck situation. The Department of Education announced that school bus service will be suspended for some Kauai schools this year due to a driver shortage. Parents are now scrambling to figure out their plans with two weeks left before school begins. Christy Tomashiro reports. Letters have been sent out notifying parents of Kapa'a Elementary, Middle and High School that school bus services are suspended until further notice. It's due to an ongoing bus driver shortage. I was just shocked to hear that there was going to be no bus service. Never in my life have I ever heard that before. No bus? I was like, oh, it's another year of headache. The DOE contracts its bus services out to different companies on each island. <laughs> Parents say the cancellation of bus service to Kapa'a is not only a traffic concern, but safety as well. My, my son is only nine years old, and I don't know if I would be able to like him to ride the regular uh, county bus by himself. But it was just if it was all for just students, maybe. I don't know why they're still using that same company. I don't know why they don't use another company. It's because in Liwi, they have a bus company. Kauai County officials said we are in touch with the DOE on the shortage of school buses this year and like last year, we anticipate an increase in student ridership on our Kauai bus routes island-wide. But council members add the county bus is already short 10 drivers and other solutions need to be looked at. In Waimea, they're going to be using the same buses for elementary as upper grades, so they're going to stagger the upper grades by an hour later start. Those are the type of creative solutions that we need to be able to figure out. With two weeks left into the new school year, area lawmakers share their concerns with parents and are trying to find short-term solutions. We're hoping that the DOE will help the schools provide after-school programs that will help the working families who have to work during the day but cannot be in the gap between 2 o'clock and five o'clock when they're able to get back to the school after work. We've reached out to the DOE and are waiting to hear back. Chrissy Tomashiro, K-22 News, working for Hawaii.